Saab has secured a major contract with the Swedish Defense Material Administration, FMV, for the delivery of the next-generation RBS-70 NG air defense system. The deal, valued at approximately 1.5 billion Swedish kronor, around $158 million, includes missiles and associated hardware and is intended to strengthen Sweden's short-range air defense capabilities. Shipments are set to begin in 2027 and continue through 2028, supporting future integration into Saab's mobile air defense platform, Chorad. The RBS-70NG is a highly advanced man-portable air defense system, MANPADS, developed by Saab Bofors Dynamics. It utilizes laser beam riding guidance, giving it a range of over 9 kilometers and a maximum altitude engagement of 5,000 meters. Enhanced with an automatic target tracker and thermal imaging for night operations, the system is built to engage a wide array of aerial targets, everything from helicopters and jets to drones and cruise missiles. The Swedish military already employs the RBS-70NG, but this latest order aims to expand its deployment and ensure long-term availability of critical components. The system is designed for rapid deployment and ease of use. It can be operational within 45 seconds and reloaded in less than 5. With a missile speed reaching Mach 2 and weighing 87 kilograms as a complete unit, it offers a lethal, mobile defense against modern threats. The roots of the RBS-70 date back to the late 1960s, when Sweden sought an alternative to traditional anti-aircraft guns. Development began in 1969, and the system entered service in 1977. Over the decades, it has evolved through several iterations, including significant upgrades like the MKI, MK2, and the high-performance Bolide missile introduced in 2003. The latest NG variant, launched in 2011, incorporates cutting-edge sighting systems, modularity for vehicle and remote use, and improved guidance technologies. More than 20 countries have adopted the RBS-70 series, including users such as Canada, Finland, Thailand, and Ukraine. Australia previously used the system but has since replaced it with NASAMS. Nonetheless, Canberra announced in 2024 that part of its military aid to Ukraine, valued at 100 million Australian dollars, would be allocated for RBS-70 units. The RBS-70 has seen real-world combat on multiple fronts. During the Iran-Iraq war, Iranian forces used it against Iraqi aircraft. In Venezuela, the system was successfully deployed during a 1992 coup attempt. Most recently, Ukrainian forces have employed the RBS-70NG against Russian aircraft, helicopters, and drones. Swedish donated systems were instrumental in downing Ka-52 helicopters, Su-24 and Su-25 jets, and various UAVs during 2023 and 2024. The system's design prioritizes adaptability. It can be mounted on tripods, installed on vehicles such as SRADAR, or integrated into naval platforms. The missile itself features a 1.32 meter long body with a 106 mm diameter and includes a shape charge warhead embedded with 3,000 tungsten pellets. The propulsion system uses smokeless solid fuel, and the missile is guided by an adaptive proximity fuse with three selectable modes, making it highly versatile in complex combat environments. Saab's RBS-70NG is a core element of Sweden's layered air defense strategy. FMV's Jonas Lotzen emphasized that this acquisition will bolster the Swedish Armed Forces' long-term ability to address aerial threats, especially at the brigade level. Saab executive Gorgen Johansson confirmed that the company is committed to supporting the Swedish military with high-end defense technologies and ensuring smooth integration into mobile air defense systems. This contract marks another step in Sweden's commitment to maintaining a robust and responsive ground-based air defense network, reflecting a growing focus on mobility, modularity, and multi-platform integration amid rising global tensions.